In this training video, you'll learn how to use the Genesis Contractors tool. The Beckett Contractor tool allows the technician to monitor and program the primary control variables. The screen on the tool can display the current burner status, control timings, and burner history. For installation of the Contractors tool, make sure you have access to the instruction manual. It's available on the Beckett website or can be downloaded for free from our new Beckett smartphone app. Now let's see how easy it is to install the Genesis Contractors tool. To install the Contractor tool, plug the connector from the interface cord into the COM1 port. The cord plug is position sensitive and must be inserted with the embossed UP in the up position for an effective connection. Now let's look at how to access the four functional categories that can be programmed with the Contractor tool. These include burner status, burner cycle history, pre-time change, post-time change. Burner status is our first functional category. The current burner status is displayed on the screen whenever the tool is connected to the control and has power. Burner status reflects the current state of the burner's operation. For example, when the burner is idle, the screen on the contractor tool will display standby, followed by the number of minutes up to one hour that the burner remains idle. In the standby mode, the CAD cell remains dark, so the resistance will be displayed as greater than 50,000 ohms. As the burner cycles through the rest of the steps, the screen will display the operation, followed by the time that either is remaining or has elapsed in that specific step. Possible states of the burner include pre-time, trial for IGN, which means trial for ignition, IGN carryover, which means ignition carryover, run, which means burner run, post time, pump prime, recycle, and lockout. Let's take a look at each one. Pre-time. The pre-time screen displays seconds remaining in the pre-purge valve on delay. Below the time reading is the CAD cell resistance and the line voltage reading. Trial for IGN. This screen displays the amount of time left in trial for ignition before the control locks out. IGN carryover. This screen displays the amount of time that the igniter will remain on after the CAD cell detects a flame. Run. The burner run screen displays the number of minutes and seconds the burner has been firing. Post time. The post time screen displays the number of seconds remaining in the post purge motor off delay. Pump prime. When priming the pump, this screen displays the time remaining in pump prime mode. The pump prime feature is for four minutes. Please note that if the flame is lost during run, the burner will recycle. The display will show recycle and list the recycle time that remains, CAD cell resistance, and the line voltage. Lockout. When the control goes into hard lockout, a message will be displayed on the screen that indicates the reason for the lockout. Our second functional category, the burner cycle history, shows seven different screens. These include run time, displayed in minutes and seconds, to light, displayed in seconds, ohms max, ohms average, and average volts are displayed the total run cycle, end reason includes nine possibilities, and off time is displayed in hours and minutes. From the burner status screen, press the next key to display the view burner cycle history screen. Hit PREV if you need to return to burner status, or press SEL to display the last 15 cycles history screen. Note, if you want to view the lifetime cycles from the screen, press the next key to display the cycles. Press SEL, yes, to display the single parameters readings through the 15 burner cycles. For example, use SEL, yes, and back, no, to scroll through the runtime for all 15 cycles. To view another parameter besides runtime, we can press the next or PREV keys. We can view the time required to light the burner in seconds, the CAD cell maximum, average resistance, the average voltage, the cycle end reason, and the time the burner remained off. The possible cycle end reasons include recycled. This means that the burner was shut down because the flame was lost. Pump prime. The burner cycle was terminated due to a manual pump prime override. Manual shutdown. The reset button was held to shut down the burner. Low voltage. The burner shut down because the line voltage to the burner dropped too low. CFH ended. The burner cycle ended because there was no longer a call for heat. 
Replace control. This indicates that the control detected an internal failure. Did not light. This means the CAD cell did not sense flame at the end of the trial for ignition lockout time. Lost flame. The burner was shut down because of excessive recycling. Pre-time flame. This indicates that a flame was detected at the end of the pre-time valve on delay. Pressing back, no, returns us to the view history screen. Next, we'll press SEL, yes, to reach the last 15 cycles screen. Then press next to display the lifetime cycles screen. Now let's look at the third functional category, pre-time change. From either the view history or the burner status screens, Press and hold the next key for 3 to 5 seconds. If the control is on, the pre-time screen will be displayed, showing the current pre-purge valve on delay time setting. Now we'll press SEL, yes, to change this setting. If the setting is zero, the display will ask if a valve has been installed, which it needs to operate in pre-time. Next, we'll press SEL, yes, once the valve is installed. Then use PREV and next to select zero, five, 10, 15, 30, or 45 seconds as our pre-time setting. Now we'll confirm our selection with SEL, yes, or cancel the change by pressing back, no. This will display change canceled and then return us to the initial pre-time select to change screen. The fourth functional category is post-time change. When we press next while on the pre-time screen, We'll go to the post time motor off delay, which will display the current setting. If the setting is zero, the display will again ask if a valve has been installed, which it needs to operate in post time. In this example, the valve is installed. We'll press SEL, yes, and use PREV and next to choose our post time setting. Now we can confirm your selection with SEL, yes, or cancel the change by pressing back, no, which will again display change canceled and return us to the initial post time select to change screen. After changing the pre time and or post time settings, apply the replacement labels over the existing labels, being careful not to cover up the barcode. You've just learned how to use the Genesis Contractors tool. For additional information, please consult the installation instruction sheet or call Beckett Technical Services at 1-800-645-2876.